Right, welcome back to Frostpunk. We're going to try this again because obviously the first video that we did on this went terribly, terribly wrong. We had so much discontent and we lost so much hope that the people of our little engine here decided to kick me out. So what we're going to do is I've already paused the game because every minute counts. So first up, we are going to get some uh, resources. We are going to get a gathering post and we need some coal oh this is a little bit different than last time so we have coal here we have coal here and we have some scrap here let's get a gathering post i wonder if i can try and get all three of them i don't think i can um i feel like i'm just gonna go straight with coal um get these up here and because we need to get that fire up and running so we're gonna go into here and waiting for workers okay we're gonna hit play and we are gonna do this nice and slowly so we have people going that way we do need to get a uh, uh, um, a road this way right where do i build a road again build oh here rod i need this to come in connect so we can get this up and running to gather the coal so we can get the power and then we need to focus on the house housing situation so we know we're going to need wood and we do have steel here as well so, uh, I don't think we can build any tents yet. We can't. And we can't build any resources. So, here, we're just going to assign 10 people to grab this. 10 people to grab this. And start utilizing that. Maybe I should just do max, right? And we have to remember how many people I've got now. Well, yeah, maybe I should just do max. Let's max that. This doesn't need engineers, right? Let's maximize that. Get them into there and workers okay going to build we need to grab that and as soon as we get that call we are then getting that engine up and running all right so we have this up and running we need to get the max workers in there now get people working in the resource shop and of course we've just hit the end of our first day so no roof over her heads we will provide shelter when i'm not going to say for everyone but i will do it for some and hopefully uh, you'll have two days to provide shelter for 40 people. Okay. So that means if we need it for 40 people, we're going to need... Uh, for 10 people, we need four of these built. So let's do that. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. That's 40 people and that's that job done, right? I feel like... Yeah, I mean... Putting the houses around the engine, I think I feel like it's gonna work. Uh, but let's get that. Oh, 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 what's going on here? The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree with everything. Okay, cool. I will keep that in mind. We're currently at 20 Celsius. We have six coal. The heating is off. Yes, we must gather some coal first. That is what I'm gonna put. Emergency shift. Um, okay, so what this? Oh, wait, what, what is this? So that's emergency shift. Child labor safe child, child shelters. Whoa, I didn't realize I can go through here. Oh, here's the cemetery stuff. Fighting arena, soup and food abilities, radical treatment. Okay, let's put in the emergency shift in case we need it. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. I feel like putting this on a 24-hour cycle right now just to get that call is going to be ben beneficial to us. So let's get them working so we can get the engine up and running. I feel like that is a good shout. Shelter promise fulfilled. Beautiful. So we have some hope. Let's slow down time a little bit. I'm being so cautious right now and we are going to boot up the, uh, the thing. The engine right we now have some heat so hopefully people appreciate that and we're gonna need four more houses so we're going to build let's have a look uh, health uh, we need more wood really uh, what's this wood crates wood crates and steel wreckage I'm feeling like a good resource gathering post right there is gonna be useful let's just speed up time a little bit but let's keep that coal going and at least we've got people being warm right now 
We're doing fine, all things considered. Another day, another shift. Well, that's life. Okay, cool. We're good for coal. We do need to get um, some wood because we do need to start getting a medical bay because we have five sick right now. So I feel like we should really push towards that. We just need to get people, you know, get in the wood. The generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserve. Yes. Now, food. There'll be no, no uh, there'll be no city if we starve to death. Secure where provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals, which is something we need to aim for as well. Um, so let's get all of these. Get some people work. Get some wood going. And we, I feel like I should put up a. Uh, let's get a gathering post going over here, like so. Let's get a road to go into there, like so. And then we're going to look into health. We want a medical post next, which we need 25 wood. And hopefully we can get that. Our coal is stocking up, pretty, which is pretty nice. Uh, I want to get a medical building straight away. I want to make this a priority. Can I make this a priority? Oh, they're building it nice. Right, let's max that out. These don't need specific engineers, right? Or anything. I feel like engineers need to go into more industrialized buildings and whatnot. Oh, what's this? Resource shortage. Yes. Uh, we're getting our, uh, our needs are great and growing by the hour. To address this, we can enact a law that will allow us to extend working hours. Open book of laws. Extended shifts. Building a city in this frozen hell requires sacrifice. People will get more done if they work longer shifts. New shift length. You can extend the work day in any facility to 14 hours. Working overtime causes discontent. Discontent will rise slightly. Um, let's not go for that right now. Let's go for maybe maybe food. We can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw foods. Hope will fall slightly. Discontent will rise slightly. Eating soup will cause discontent. Um, child labor. No, we'll just leave that for now. So we have this resource post up. We have these over here. Um, I feel like what will be beneficial for us now is to get something in regards to food up. We're getting hunter's hut, so we need 20 wood for that. So let's get you up and running, I guess. We can bring that in here. And then we're going to need a cookhouse as well, which is going to need 20 wood. Okay, it's a new dawn. Well, it's a new evening, I should say. So let's get people working in the medical post at least so we can start treating the sick and then in the hunter's lodge we want to get maximum people working in there right now and then once we run out of workers we can then start distributing people or telling people where to work i'm just curious if uh oh that wood's about to run out that's got 210 coal left that's got 210 coal left oh there's my hunters oh, okay so they go out overnight interesting hunters you can move the camera with you oh yeah, yeah, yeah where where's the hunters 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 leave the city to hunt in the uh, the frostland for food they work from 6 p.m until 6 a.m initially they bring up to 15 units of raw food from each hunt research upgrades to significantly increase the hunt yield okay so 15 raw food per day but I feel like we're in a more comfortable position than we was last time. I feel like the next thing we need to look at is potentially four more houses. If we can get four more houses, that means everybody has got a house. And I think I'm just going to put it behind our current one. So we're just going to go one here. I wish I could place the other ones down and just kind of make it as a cute job. Okay. But we're getting supplies back again. Um, let's... Two, three... Our hunters are back as well with some food. Beautiful. And we're going to need one more tent. And then I think we need to assign a road here. If I'm not mistaken. But then that should be everybody housed. This wood has just been eliminated from here. We do have this one. Which is nobody working at right now. I guess we can just assign 15 people to that. That's got 120. And we need to look into uh, a cookhouse. Uh, food. We need to get more wood. One more piece of wood, in fact. We're just going to let this uh, night run th its course. Five being treated, zero in palliative care. Nice. 23 hungry. Okay. So we need to get this um, cookhouse up as soon as possible. Alright, sometimes I wonder the, what the purpose of our struggle is. 
Okay, so some of the comments was actually pretty decent. We are on a new day. And I just need that one piece of wood. Oh, and we've just dropped it 40 Celsius. Okay, we need to get that food up and running. All right, let's get that cookhouse in. Let's get the cookhouse in. Get that built. I'm going to get as many workers in that as possible. I think it's going to require 10 or 5, maybe. 5. And it needs 5 engineers. Okay, people from our convoy. Uh, with basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostlands, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You'll need a workshop to design plans to more advanced buildings. Okay. So we've got a cookhouse now, so it means we can start feeding people. We have hunters up and running. We have houses for everybody. And we also have resources coming in, but them resources will not last forever. So we already know that last time... Uh, there, there was something we saw in... I don't know if it was in the research. Um, in regards to coal miners and whatnot. I'm going to stop these working from over here. Because these are going to get sick pretty quick. Dangers of frostbite. Yeah, okay. Uh, we must do something. Um, I, I don't think we need any of that. I think... I, uh, maybe... Treatment. Sustain life. Uh, we can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputations with radical treatment. The gravely ill will be kept alive but untreated in medical posts. Uh, hope will rise slightly. Discontent will rise slightly. The gravely ill will not... Oh, I can go with the cemetery. 30% of the gravely ill treated in medical posts will be left as amputees. Uh, um... Each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours. You'll have to establish a cemetery. Or a corpse disposal. We don't want to do that again. We did that last time and it was bloody terrible. Let's sign this cemetery. New law. A new law has passed. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, as it should be. At least after death, we'll be re uh, allowed to rest properly. Okay, so I feel like the, the the people are going sick right now is because they're working here and they're cold. Uh, where these provide heat and protection. I feel like that's uh, a thing. Uh, but we do have 165 food ready to eat now, at least. So people are eating, which is beautiful. We just need to sort out this sick situation right now. Okay, so let's look into building a workshop so we can kind of get this up and running. Um... I don't think this needs to be in the center, does it? Does it? I don't see if there's any, if, if it gets a boost or not. Uh, but we can add that in. And so we can start looking into researching stuff. And then all we do, we need to wait for this to get built. Our hunters are currently out, so they'll go and get some more food, get rid of that, cook. We do need to keep an eye on the resources over here. That's only got 21 steel left, 83 wood, and 65 wood. There is some steel here as well. There's some coal, 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 and coal. Uh, we do need to keep an eye on steel, it looks like. Engineers. Let's max that out with engineers. You can introduce a new law. Okay, here we go. Steam hub, exploration and industry. Beacon, resources, coal thumper, sawmill, steelworks. Steelworks extracts iron ore from the deep deposits and produces it to deliver up to 40 steel per standard workday. But it also consumes wood. Coal coal thumper and sawmill turns frozen trees into usable materials producing up to 80 wood per standard work day and then a coal thumper um i feel like the the one i should really go for maybe hunter's gear thanks to better snowshoes and enhanced camouflage hunters set out from the hunter's hut will return with more raw food from each hunt up to 20 raw food per hunt instead of the standard 15 okay I think I'm going to work towards the steelworks, and I'm going to start that. So we're going to need the steelworks, we're going to need the coal thumpers and the wood, so we can start... I think the wood's going to be the next thing I want to go for. Oh, here we go, what's this? Treat the gravely ill. One of our people is gravely ill. If you sign the radical treatment law, the gravely ill will be treated in medical posts but may undergo risky amputations as a result. Alternatively, you might sign the sustained life law to keep them alive until we build an infirmary. 
Hmm. Do we go with a radical? I think we do. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Okay, so Cole Powell depleted. Uh, so this is now totally gone here. So we're going to grab this and we need to uh, demolish this. So let's dismantle that. And then let's also build another uh, resource, a gathering post. And we're going to go for this one here. And then make sure our road goes directly to it. And then we've got some coal being collected there. We have no food right now to cook. And our hunters are currently coming back with said food. Family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group. But she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urgently urges you to hurry. Okay. We, 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 we will get a beacon. Okay, so that's being built. This is now being demolished. And then let's get... Um, 10 people in there. Oh, steelworks researched. Nice. Let's go back into here, add a new research. So, we now have the steelworks. We could go with the sawmill. Where is uh, health? Medical post upgrade and infirmary. Drawing boards one. Allows us to research tier one technologies. I feel like, let's go to hunting gear. Let's increase the food demand and then let's unlock drawing boards and go to medical post possibly. But we do need to head to the infirmary. So let's start that. It's going to con get rid of... It's going to consume 10 wood. But after we do the hunting upgrade, we are then going to go with logs. So we can see we are getting 240 production of coal per day, 42 wood per day, 20 steel, 15 raw food, and we have 400 a day in regards to food rations. Is that how much we're making from 15 raw meat is 400 food? Damn. I am going to build a second medical post right now because this is worrying me. 21 a second, four, four gravely wounded. And yeah, I feel like we need to get that up uh, and built. Uh, we do have another book of laws. Um, let's have a look here. So, criminal ceremonial funerals. Um, those who give their lives in service to the city deserve the highest honour. We will give our dead ceremonial burial, uh, ceremonial funerals to inspire the living. Loss of hope caused by deaths is half. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, Kerr House. The gravely ill and amputees will be cared for at low cost in special homes. New building, the Kerr House. The gravely ill are kept alive in Kerr Houses and no longer burden medical posts. Oh, residents of Kerr Houses eat half as much. Hope will rise slightly. You will have to build a Kerr House. Okay, that is something we're going to go for. So, a Kerr House, 25 wood, 5 steel. Uh, that's going to be 25 wood. We are getting wood from over here, right? Yeah, 37 left there. 69 left there. Okay, so we can afford this. And we're going to bring that in. Get them built. I think that's why we're raising right now, because... People are probably sitting in there. Nice. Temperatures dropped. Well, ri risen. Kerhorn promise fulfilled. Hope rises. Beautiful. Right, so we have people in here. We have 20 inhabitants uh, that we can put in there, but we have nine. Um, oh, we have no engineers. So engineers need to actually work in here then. Okay, noted. Noted. Steel wreckage depleted. So there's no steel there. No steel there. The only place is next is this one over here. I'm just wondering if it's worth just to drop two from there and put two in there. I don't know how that's going to benefit. I suppose it'll allow us to have more people inside here, I guess. But the, 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 like, and the, the, like, it's only going to be 33% efficiency. Amputees. Let's have a look at this. Uh, amputees. Uh, people may become amputees as a result of serious frostbite, work accidents, other misha mishaps, or after becoming gravely ill and being saved by radical treatment. The amputees can't work, but they still need to be housed and fed. Later in the game, you can research upgrades that will help you find solutions to this problem. Okay, 
So their food is half, capacity is 20, and number of amputees, 10. So one thing we need to look into now is we need to get this uh, beacon up so we can start bringing in new people because the longer we delay that, the more people that's going to die and maybe become ill, so which means less workers, less jobs uh, that we're able to sustain. So I'm thinking we work on this beacon, which uh, this one's about to get uh, in less than an hour. Let's get, uh, get done. There we go. There's our hunter's gears researched literally as soon as we did that. So the, what we wanted to do next was exploration. Let's go for the beacon and get that up and running. That's 35 steel. We have enough. And we have 20 wood. We have enough of that as well. We're still okay for coal as of right now. Um, what's these one? A frightened patient. One of our people is facing death, but he's still refusing amputation. He keeps screaming that he doesn't want anyone to touch his leg and he won't change his mind, even though gangrene will kill him in a matter of hours. If he's refusing it, let him be. Be left as an amputee. Let him be. That's his choice. If he would, if he doesn't want it cut in, I'm not going to force him and fill up a spot here when it could be used for somebody else who wants to live. So there we go. One of our people has died, which I'm going to guess is because of the gangrene. The patient who refused amputation has just died of gangrene. We did our best to ease his pain, but he suffered terribly in the end. It was his choice. We must make sacrifices to survive. I'm thinking we just do that because our hope is a lot higher than our discontent right now. First death. I'm already... Uh, one of our people just had a sickness. Accidents and thing. Uh, we need to dispose of the body. Okay, I'm already working on it. Which does mean they are requesting... A cemetery, right? Which we don't have. Um, where is... Is it in Book of Laws? Where is the cemetery? It's here, isn't it? A new building, the cemetery. Did I miss it? Build. Health. Medical post. People. Oh, cemetery right here. Uh, let's get the cemetery down just there. We have 17 people who are sick right now. I'm curious on why they are sick. Uh, why are they sick? Cold homes. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. The quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold and ask you to address this problem. Um, you'll have to start heating two of the cold homes within two days, then keep them heated for two days. Let's heat all homes. I won't address this right now. Ugh. Um, I need to look into this, so let's just not address that right now. Because we can't go to heat level 2, right? Because why are they not... Um, what's the temperature here? Low risk of falling ill. Very low risk of falling ill. That's because of the heat dispersion of the engine. The beacon is still being researched. And our cemetery is nearly built as well. I'm just wondering how many workers this is going to need. I would think maybe one. Cemetery established. The cemetery has been established. Now we can put our dead to rest. Hope rises. Okay, there we go. Actually, okay, nobody needs it then. They can just dig their own graves, I guess. But I'm happy with how this is turning out so far. This is a lot better than what we did last time. There we go. Beacon researched. Allow us to build the beacon. Right, let's get on to the next thing, which is going to be the sawmill. Allow us to build sawmills. Uh, turns frozen trees into usable materials. We need this because we're going to run out of wood soon because this one has only got 24 left and there is no other wood around here. There's some frozen trees on the outsides, which we've got all of these to uh, start chopping down because oh, we need to get that up and running. And there is, saying that, 83 here we could have utilised, but we stopped that, didn't we, because people was getting cold out here. We still have 19 people ill and our food is dropping very quick as well 
Okay, I'm going to try and put a steel mill down. Okay, that doesn't go here. Where does that go? Steel mill. Ah, over here. Oh, that's pretty far out. Building here will destroy resource sources. Build. And then we're going to get a road to go from... There down. Wood crates depleted. Okay, so that's that done. We need to get that... Uh, oh, this has been finished now as well. Let's demolish that. So let's demolish you. And that means we'll get more workers as well because we're going to need some workers for the steel mill. And sawmill has just been researched as well. Beautiful. Um, I need to put this beacon down. Um, but I feel like I need to get this sawmill up and running like yesterday. Um, am I going to... I feel like that's going to be very bad if I cut that there, right? I feel like I'm going to have to push this backwards each time. And get a road to come up there. More sick beds need... Oh, God. You'll have three days to admit one third of the sick to treatment. We'll try and do that. How can we increase this production maybe one of its workers that we could need to speed up things i guess i feel like that is definitely what we could need um where have i got engineers what's some engineers in here let's bring some of them out let's max that out um where else have i got engineers i don't have any in there i have three in there five in there we do have 15 engineers but i don't know where they're at right now is there a way for me to easily see where they're at we've got five engineers in here as well five in there let's max that out i feel like these engineers in here are a bit of a waste right now just because the food we don't have food coming in super quick and these are maxed out and these still aren't bringing in enough food for our current population right let's speed up and get people working so we've got we can put s let's put seven people to work in there and six people to work in there and that's all of our population right now we have 79 overall obviously because somebody died and we do have the sawmill up and running now which is 90 900 wood in the vicinity of this so obviously when we push it back we can get more and then the steel works which is infinite Steel is not connected to a generator. Workforce will extract steel potentially 2.4 an hour. Is it... How's it not connected? Is, are they still building this road? Oh, it's because I've not connected it here. That'd be why. So you can't build paths through uh, the houses. But you can with some other stuff. So if I go to housing, make a road, you can't build it through the... Oh yeah, you can. Oh, there we go. We got it. Nice. Okay, so we're bringing in steel now, and we're bringing in wood. <sighs> okay, cool. We're still good for coal. We've got 620, which is still increasing. And hopefully, our medical supplies... Well, saying we put engineers in there now is a lot better. So let's put down uh, our beacon. I uh, don't know where we can... I guess we could just put this here. Or are we going to attach it to the side of the workshop? Not adjacent to street. That's fine. We can we can fix that. By just bringing that through there. And that should not take long to build. Beacon built. We're no longer lost and blind. From now on, our people will be able to survey the icy barrens that surround us. Basically, the frostland. Oh. It's a hot air balloon. Okay. Lost Expedition. Numerous tents. We can see people moving about. They must be the lost members of the expedition. Send scouts here to learn more about this place. Okay. Which means 
Uh, what is this? Go directly to the beacon to deploy a new unit. Go to the city. Okay, so it's the thingy. So we need to get uh, scouts. Um, how do I send scouts? It's going to take 10 hours. It's going to take a, a day cycle. Okay, cool, cool beans. I thought I added the um, engineers to this. Let's just remove one from the workshop right now and max them out there. And that's five in there. We need to get this down before we get told off. Ready to search. People cheer as the giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the network, of the work they've done uh, to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, eager to go looking for our lost people in the Frostlands. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. We needed a win. So hopefully everyone's happy with that now. We're running out of food badly though. I feel like we're going to need another hunter's hut. I'm going to get another hunter's hut built. Uh, hunter's hut. Let's get another one built. And then we need to assign more hunters because we're running out of food bad style. Freezing homes. Captain, people have gathered to protest against the cold in their homes. They're angry, angry uh, that despite the health risk posed by the cold, you seem to be neglecting the problem. They want you to act. You'll have to start heating two cold homes within two days. Then keep them heated for two days. Wait, how am I supposed to do that? Do they want me to in research better heat? Or what's going on? Because I can see the heat map somewhere, right? Temperature overlay, right? It's going to be these four out on the outside, isn't it? They want me to heat these, and for me to do so, I need to go to level two, unless I can overdrive. Maybe overdrive it just a couple of days, just to see if that helps. That's going to go through so much coal, though. Hopefully, it's healthier for them. Oh, scouts have reached their expedition. Here we go. The rest of our people made camp here, too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. Survivors. Oh. Uh, explore. A happy reunion. We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voicemen welcomes. Thank God you found us. We had been wandering for days until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon, we'd begin to starve. Children and adults around us, packed and ready to go. Site discovered crash site, sturdy shelter. Escort the survivors to the city. Send the survivors to the city. Uh, let's escort them. So they're on their way back, which will take five hours and 24 minutes. So let's use the two additional workers that aren't working right now on the uh, food because we've got 12 food left. That is not good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a couple of workers from the resources of getting coal for now. I'm going to put them into here to give us more chance of getting food. Um, I can also do the same for maybe steel as well. Just bring steel down by a couple of people. And just to add them to here as well. But people are getting people are getting ill. I think that's what it is. But we're about to bring in some new people, which is going to require more homes, uh, which they're going to want heating. And then also they're going to, you know, consume more food. Scouts unite have returned safely. Okay, here we go. You can disband the scouts at the beacon or send them back into the frostlands. Okay, so we've just got some new people. Finally. Workers, but it also means more food consumption. People from our convoy, reunions. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships. But shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We will look for the others. So, first up, we're going to pause. We are going to put workers into the... We're going to put workers into the food. By putting 15 in there, we have 15 in there. I want to put workers... We have nine engineers back into this. And we are going to put more workers into... 
Uh, let's actually max that out now. Uh, let's uh, max you out because we definitely need wood. We have five workers left. Um, I don't believe there's any... Oh, actually, yeah, we can get people cooking. Um, I'm curious if the engineers... Wait a minute. Eight? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. 16. Okay. I just wanted to check with the uh, food there. Um, and then you're maxed back out again. You've got people working. We are good to go. And I think that's a good start to their search for others. Our people found a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them for help to secure our survival. Okay, so hope is raised because we got brought in more people. It is currently 30 Celsius right now. And it's the temperature is going to drop by another level. But then it's going to raise by another level two days later. But we have a lot more people coming in now. We definitely need to get some food. Sturdy shelter. Let's send a scout to that. And then we are going to stop the overdrive on this. And uh, hopefully things cool down. I didn't realize there was a temperature thing. Generator stress level 65%. Generator stress level increases when the overdrive is on. When the stress level reaches 100, the generator will explode and the game will... <laughs> I bet some of you was in the comments going... Hmm, or even just watching this video and then just like, yeah, he's gonna... <laughs> uh, we do need to build some more houses. So let's go to people, let's go to tents and let's add a few more houses to our current I'm just wondering if the these pipes along here is going to help in regards to actually spreading heat maybe I'm curious well let's get them new houses up let's bring in I think I'm going to have to put one more house down got all them hunters going out for food that is what we want but I also just to really look into research and maybe get a coal thumper up and running. We're going to do that because I feel like this coal might run out soon. 97 in that one, 45 in that one. I think that's a good idea. We have wood there. We have steel and some coal there, which is 500 also. It's getting colder with each day. We've just dropped to 40 Celsius. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is fine. But I think we are doing pretty good. And I feel like that is a good time to end it. So we know we can confirm there will be a second video on this playthrough. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you enjoyed the content, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. Even if it's just a bloody emoji. And as always, keep smiling. And I'll see you in another video.